both of you coming to our you'd be coming to orientation for three days in Springfield, Missouri. Then you'll go out on a truck for your instruction phase as a permit driver where the instructor would be in the jump seat next to you whenever you're driving. After you come back and pass your road test that you're, uh, you know, that you've got your CD, that you passed your test scores for your CDL license, then we hire you into our program at $900 a week. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at STEP CDL training program. Yes, sir. Once again, if you guys are looking for a company sponsored CDL training program, Prime Inc. has one of the best in the nation. Let that sink in if you get the right trainer prime just might be the place for you now you're dealing with a source so if you have an email address i can send you in writing how our program works okay and, and, a, and a video that thanks you by prime so well, awesome, awesome. Uh, well, I got I got a few questions. Is is that is that all right? Yeah. What are your questions? Awesome. So, uh, before I come, uh, it it did state it that uh, I need to get my permit before I come to you guys, right? Yeah, you'll get your you two you will get your permit from your home state. That's correct. Okay. 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 Now, once I once I do all of that, where would I go for my CDL training? Both of you would be coming to our you'd be coming to orientation for three days in Springfield, Missouri. Then you'll go out on a truck for your instruction phase as a permit driver, where the instructor would be in the jump seat next to you whenever you're driving. After you come back and pass your road test, that you're, uh, you know that you've got your CD, that you passed your test scores for your CDL license, then we hire you into our program at $900 a week. From oh. the time you leave the house, with a day of travel, three days of orientation, and then about 20 days on the truck before you test out, and then, you know, maybe five or six days before you get your first paycheck, because you're going to get employed as soon as you test out with your CDL, uh, you're looking at about 30 days that you won't be getting a paycheck. However, oh, okay. uh, we're going to house you when you get to orientation. We're going to, um, you're going to be living and sleep on trucks. So you won't have to worry about lodging costs. Uh, there's two bunks on the truck, you and your instructors. Each of you will have a separate instructor. We only have one instructor and one trainer, uh, one uh, student on a truck. And then, um, then when you pass your road test, like I say, you immediately get hired on at $900 a week. And, uh, but that's about a 30 day gap before you actually start getting an income. Now, while you're on the truck to help you with, because uh, you got to eat, you don't have to bring additional money from the house because we're going to advance you $200 a week for food. Because it's an advance, there's no taxes taken out, and you'll have the full 200 to be able to buy food while you're on the road. Now, uh, okay. so you, so as, so for a whole 30 day gap, as you said, uh, I won't, I won't be getting paid for CDL training, right? You won't, you, won't have money to, yeah, you won't have money to pay your bills. So you want to be sure that you got yourself covered for that. And we're working on about a 30, we're working on about 30 days before we can bring you in at this time with a fresh app. Okay. Okay. Is is there any type now being that I'm coming to you guys to get my CDL, is there any type of non-compete clause or contract that I gotta sign? Yeah, you're gonna have a one year commitment if you don't want to pay anything. And we're we're not interested, we're not a driving school, we're trying to build our own program. We're the largest refrigerated fair in the country. So if you come to us, there's no money up front for us having help you get your CDL. After you get your commercial license, we don't take any money out of your check. And after you're here 12 months, the cost of us having to help you get your CDLs forgiven. So you have no short-term costs. You have no short-term costs, no intermediate costs. And if you stay here a full 12 months, the cost is forgiven. So you have no long-term either. So within that 12 months, well, if anything should happen to me as far as, you know, termination or, or if I decide to leave, what will be my obligation to uh, 
to the to the contract if it's broke? Four thousand eight hundred seventy-five dollars. As you said, uh, as you said that uh, that I will be responsible for the for for the monies. Um, how how what's how many times or how many times? Well, I guess that's a question. Uh, how how many times am I able to uh, test out before you know you guys tell me this is not going to work for me? And do and do we test out in a manual? By the way. All our trucks are automatic transmissions have been for five or six years now. Um, and we have a very high success rate. We're, like I say, we're the largest refrigerated car in the country. And we've been doing our, we've been around since 1970s. And we've been doing our own program for since 2020. So got a lot of experience with it. Very high success rate. And, um, so I, I don't think that's going to be a problem for you. I, I guess it could be, but I rarely hear any problems. If, you know, if you just yeah, I'm I'm coming to learn and yeah, I'm I'm asking because you know as 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 I'm you know getting more and more information, uh, my license I guess would be restricted to an automatic if I don't well, test out in the manual. Yeah, that that's correct, but it. After you're done with us, if you decide you've done that year and you want to get a, a manual transmission to get the restriction off, you can just go rent a truck or whatever company you're going to go to and, and do the test in that. So, all right, awesome. All your major carriers, all your major carriers are going automatic because the fuel savings is so much greater. If, if the, basically anyone that's not doing automatic at this point, if they're an over the road carrier. Uh, either probably has financial problems or something's probably haywire there. I don't know what. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Prime Inc., everybody. <laughs> well, uh, I, you know, I guess with Prime being uh, one of the popular uh training or CDL training companies out there now as as the you know as he said that this isn't a school this is this is a company that's looking for commitment and if you go in looking at it that way then you probably might be better understandable to see why they, have so many classes and so many uh you know so many students at one time right so if you go in there and look at it that way then it shouldn't be all of an issue you know um unfortunately the young man or the gentleman had you know probably had a lot of calls <laughs> A lot of calls is coming in because, you know, with guys like like new drivers that's coming in that's looking for their CDLs, you know, they they're gonna call. You know, they're gonna call every day. And I'm I'm sure the questions that I ask, everybody else will ask, you know, the same questions. So basically what they do, they they package everything up in the email and they send it out to you. So it's not now I'm not saying that this guy like want to hurry up and get me off the phone because I guess I wasn't like like just asking questions, you know, like window shopping or something like that. You know, you know how a salesman is, you know, you walk into the store and you just be like, yeah, I'm just looking. And, you know, sometimes that salesman be like, fuck, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. I guess this is how these recruiters look at us, you know, as far as as far as us coming in, you know, as far as us coming in, you know, looking for opportunities with the company. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, I you know, this particular call, not bad. I'll, I'll give it a five, you know. 
I mean, he he gave us the gist of what they're what they're offering as far as getting your CDLs. But it's always best to go to the source because, like I said in the beginning, there's a lot, and I do mean a lot of misinformation when it comes to Prime Inc. Uh, CDL training. Now, thus far, you know, watching other videos, reading the reviews, reading uh, 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 drivers' interactions and experiences with Prime Inc., I will say this. There are some successes out of their school. They, they school... From what I understand, if you get that right trainer, it could be an awesome experience. But if you get a bum trainer, then your experience is going to is going to vary. And when you get that bum trainer, they put it on Prime Inc. as a whole. Like Prime Inc. school sucks, bro. This sucks. Well, it sucks because you got that bum trainer. And thus far, you know, I've seen a lot of TikToks, especially this one particular female. She's going through the training process right now. And thus far, she's up to her fifth trainer. So are you going to get the trainer that you want? Let's say you you type in Prime Inc. And you see Junior... I can never pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to try. But you see Junior, and you see Junior as this, as this god of training. He has a uh, manual. I don't, think, I don't think Junior is going to give up his manual because he has a manual, and he trains the trainees in a manual, which is great, by the way. But if you get a other any other train trainers that don't have manuals then you're s out of luck could you suggest that you want to have junior as your trainer yeah maybe is junior is going to bring you on as his trainee maybe that probably might be up to him but like other trainers you might not have a choice you could turn around and say yo i want a female trainer and then you might have to end up waiting and waiting and waiting. And then you're going to turn around and be like, well, I'm tired of waiting. Let me just get somebody to train me. Now is, well, let me get a trainer that don't smoke. They'll put down on the thing that they don't smoke. But when you get in the truck, they, they, they truck smell like cigarettes. Bro, I thought you I thought you said you don't smoke. Yeah, you know, I, I just raised down the window and I blow off the smoke. That don't work. Bruh, but I'm not going to complain because I want to get my, you know, get my training done so I can get this done and over with. In a nutshell, you got to put in about five, about 50 K miles with that person. So you're going to be out for about a month, just like he said, about 30 days. And he also said that, you know, you don't have to bring money. We got you covered. No, 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 no. Bring money. Bring money because that $200 advance that they're going to advance you, you're going to have to pay back. So let's say, let's say you start off, like you said, after that, you get, you, you go for 30 days, you take out $200 every week, two, four, six, eight, that's $800 that you owe prime. He says you get $900 a paycheck. So that first paycheck after you get, out of the trainer's truck, if you get into your own truck, because you still got to wait for that truck. Now, now that you're waiting, you're not getting paid. You're only getting paid if you're on the trainer's truck. Well, I take that back. You're not getting paid if you're on the trainer's truck. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, if you in the different phase, you getting paid. But when you getting your CDLs, you're not getting paid. So that first paycheck that you get is probably might be like $100 or, or $200 because you got to pay all those advance back. 
But overall, overall, uh, you know, a lot of people do say that Prime is a good training school for your CDL. Now, let's say if you like 30, if, if you go into a class of 30 people deep, at the end of the class, it just might be five people because they weeding and weeding everybody out. Everybody ain't going to make it through. And again, once you make it through and you get to that next phase and that next phase, getting with that trainer on the next phase, you got to get with a good trainer. Now, not all trainers are good. They're not. They're not. Not all trainers are good. And being that you got to spend 50K miles on a trainer's truck, that's about at least a month. At least a month. You and your trainer got a vibe. A lot of those, and I'm not saying a lot of trainers at Prime is bad. I'm just going off from what I see and from what I hear. You know, I, you, you got to go to the source. You know, but if you see a whole bunch of TikToks, a whole bunch of reviews, a whole bunch of people, obviously something's going on. Just know that the trainers, some of some of them is not there for you. Some of them, some a lot of them is there for the money. That's what they there for. They there for the money. You know? So with that in mind, take everything, everything in mind when you're considering any type of CDL training school. If it's not a school, okay, if it's not a certified school and it's a company sponsored school, then yeah, take everything into consideration. OK, just know that it's going to be accelerated. Also, before I get on up out of here, which I didn't get a chance to ask him as much as I want to ask him, the information that he sent me, if it's in the right email, I will post it in the information below. All right. I mean, in the description below. And till next time, everybody. Who's next?